This is day three. Uh, my tonsil had to be recovery. Oh my God. I feel so bad. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Make you want to cry. They say that it hurts worse than having a baby. Whoever said it didn't lie. This is the third day. I woke up this morning around about 9.30 and I was in so much pain because the fan started blowing in my mouth. It had to dry it out the back of my throat. And when I, when I tried to close my mouth, it was like cracking the window. It was like a sharp razor blade in the back of my throat. It hurt so bad. It brought tears to my eye. So, got up. I went and drank some water to kind of cool the back of my throat out. And then I ate some gold applesauce, how to help that. And I went and changed these pads in here to try to keep my face cool. This video is going to be very short because I am in so much pain. And uh, I'm so tired of that medication, that pain medication. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a pill person or a medicine person. But I know if I don't take something, I'll be hurting. But I think I'm going to switch it up to the children's Motrin or Tylenol. I think I'm going to just take the Tylenol. Because I don't like being, feeling druggy and med medicine. I don't like that feeling. Even though it helps me with my pain, but I don't like that feeling. It hurts so bad to swallow. And then I woke up. My night knee was swollen. I don't know why. I guess maybe I kept it elevated too long. But I, I woke up and it was hurting me. Oh my God. I'm telling you. People, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. You have to excuse the way I look today. I still got my little bunny on. I got up and forced myself to take a shower. Fresh sheets on the bed and stuff. And uh, I'm trying my best to hang in there. But I'd be glad when the end of the rainbow comes because all I want to do is just cry. It hurts so bad. When the pain get to the point where you got all on your mama and you in pain. And I'm in pain. I mean, I'm in a lot of discomfort. It hurts to swallow. It's like when you're trying to swallow. It's like it's like you're trying to swallow pins and needles. You know? The only thing I have experienced with this tonsillectomy surgery is the breath pull. I haven't experienced it yet. Maybe just because it's just the third day. But I refuse not to go without brushing my teeth. Ever since I had the surgery, I brush my teeth. I do. I get up in the morning, I brush my teeth. And then after my meal, I brush my teeth. Before I go to bed, I brush my teeth. If I don't brush, I rinse it out antibacterial mouthwash but I don't let it get to the back of my throat I just let it stay within the jaw lines because it don't bother me within the jaw lines it reaches the front but back there when it had the surgery I don't allow it to touch back there but it hurts so bad it hurts so bad anybody that that had the surgery they know what I'm talking about it's a very painful procedure. And I feel like I got a little fever coming. I feel feverish. 
The chills. And then how about this? Here it is, I just had my surgery. And I said that this was gonna happen. That they was gonna send me a notification saying that it's time for me to go take my COVID shot. Well, guess what? I'm gonna have to reschedule that because I'm not gonna leave my house and go take no COVID shot. If I'm in pain like this, I don't think that would be a good idea. I just I ain't got all that anesthesia medicine out of me and all that other stuff out of me. I don't think that would be a good idea to mix that combination up again. But if anybody out there knows that if you are able to reschedule that appointment, give me a shout out and let me know if I'm eligible to reschedule that appointment because this is one appointment I'm going to have to miss even though I signed up for it in January to get the shot. They just sent me an email saying that I have to go on the 24th to go get my first shot. But I don't think by next week I'm going to be feeling good. So I said, well, I'm going to call my surgeon doctor and see what he think, if that's a good idea. But in my own self-opinion, I just don't think it would be a good idea to allow them to give that shot to me if I'm not already feeling good. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I'd rather be feeling good and not in pain and no kind of discomfort and fully healed before I do that shot. That way, if something did happen, knock on wood. Not saying that it will, but knock on wood. They'll be able to, to know if it was from the shot or from my surgery. So I don't want to combine nothing else with that. But anyway, I just thought I'd reach out to you and let you know that this is day three. Day three, guys. And oh my God, I got tears in my eyes. Y'all pray for me. Because this surgery is no joke. Peace out.